Hey guys, Coach Cindy here, and today we're going to talk about what burns more calories or said another way, what's going to help you lose weight the most or the quickest. And we're going to specifically look at uh, cardio intervals and resistance training. So um, when we look at cardio, we're going to define it. So we're defining it as pretty much anything you do at a low intensity that you can do for a, a prolonged period of time that elevates your heart rate. So that could be something like a steady state walk, a jog, a run, or being on the elliptical, for example. Whereas interval training is still a form of cardio, but it's a bit different. You can still be using the bike or the elliptical or running, for example, uh, but you're varying up the rates of speed and the intensity. So for example, I could be on the treadmill running full tilt and sprinting for 30 seconds, and then I could do a 30 second jog and do a 30 second low intensity walk. And I could keep varying that up and that's gonna make my heart rate go up and down. So that's kind of what we're talking about when we do interval training. And weight training is when you lift weights, but of course, body weight exercises work too. So when it comes to the hierarchy, obviously we need to consider a couple of things. First, the best place to start is with what you like. Um, and so if you have no interest in doing cardio, then why are we going to try and bump up cardio, right? Um, if the goal is weight loss, the uh, the biggest factor is one that you're going to like it because if you like it, you're going to be more consistent at maintaining it over a longer period of time. So that's something that we need to look at. Second of all, we want to look at, are you new to this? Because if you're new to this, we want to consider where, where your starting point is. If your starting point is doing nothing, you really haven't been active for a really long period of time or it's been a while since you've been active, then really choosing any of those methods is going to be a good investment because you're going from doing nothing to doing something and then you're going from doing something to being consistent at that something. So we want to consider that too. But the number one thing that we want to consider in particular if you want to lose weight, um, you want to look at what burns calories the most, is really you want to look at your nutrition. Nutrition is number one. Um, it's the one that you want to invest the all your eggs into the kind of that basket, basically. So let's say you were working out three days a week, even if you were working out four days a week, and those sessions are about one hour in length, you gotta consider what it is that you're doing with the other hours of time where you're not actively exercising. And so um, it doesn't matter if you're exercising three hours a week or four hours a week, for example, it won't undo if you have a really bad diet or even if your diet is really, really healthy, but you're over consuming in calories and your goal is weight loss. They're just not going to work together. So you want to definitely invest in nutrition as your number one strategy for first. But let's explore. So looking at cardio, remember, it's that steady state cardio. Um, it's pretty much um, anyone who can anyone can start walking or jogging. The barrier to kind of entry is low. It doesn't really take a lot of skills to start walking or jogging. For example, there's a really low learning curve, but it can get really boring and it can be time consuming because um, you, you need to invest a lot of time in there to burn more calories. The great thing is, is it does do a good job of burning calories during the exercise, but there's a but to that. So when you look at um, a, a side note to that, I just want to say is I've had clients before saying that they got in the best shape of their life. They lost all this weight when they started running and maybe they even signed up for like some sort of um, half marathon training, for example. And I would argue whether or not it was the running that made them lose weight or whether it was the actual training level that they engaged in, meaning they went from doing something very sporadic or very irregular or nothing at all to then being consistent in their exercise practice. Plus, they increased the intensity or the volume of exercise over time and whether or not that played a role in how conscientious they were about their nutrition habits. So it wouldn't necessarily say that it was running that made you lose weight. It was all those other factors that kind of maybe come, came together and gave you that outcome. When you look at intervals or HIIT training, um, th this one is like you're doing some sort of cardio, whether it's on a machine or not, and your heart rate is going up, but it's also uh, coming down as well. And so basically they're higher intensity bursts of energy followed by lower, um, lower intensity intervals, shorter ones, and um, some rest in there. This one's a bit more demanding on the on the body, um, especially if you're doing it correctly. Um, your workout sessions aren't very long, which is a bonus, but you do need a longer time to recover from it as well. Um, and you're a little bit more prone to injury, especially if you're new to this kind of training regimen. The cool thing, unlike steady state, is that um, there's something called the afterburn. So basically, it doesn't do as good of a job burning calories while you're in the in high intensity or interval training, but it does a 
better job of burning calories after you're done the exercise. So think about it, if you're a morning workout person and you get in the car to go to work, if you pushed hard enough, you did it correctly, then you're going to still be burning calories on that way home into work or while you're getting dressed or getting in the shower, or maybe you work late at night and after you're done your workout, you eat, you're still burning calories. And if you go to bed, you're still burning calories. So there's definitely pros and uh, minuses to each one, but that's definitely a pro of interval training as well. Weight training, otherwise known as resistance training, and some of us are just starting out with some body weight. Um, and we, we just want to be really clear what you eat is the most important thing when it comes to weight loss. Um, aerobic training helps, but not clearly as much as what you think. And strength training, when combined with the two, is the method that you want if uh, weight loss is um, your jam. So if you're strapped for time, uh, weightlifting uh, training gives you the most bang for your buck for sure. It not only helps you lose weight, but it helps you kind of develop shape. So get the muscle or the tone physique that you're looking for. The downside is, is that there is a learning curve to understanding, you know, the right combo of exercises, the sets, the reps and the tempo and sort of that. So as you can see, it's not a cut and dry answer, which one is best at burning more calories and improving my weight loss and uh, making it quick. Is it cardio resistance training or interval training? There's not a clear cut um, kind of Thing that we're going to look at you really got to look at a multitude of factors especially your preference um you know what your what level are you at right now and really it comes down to is your nutrition on point as well because that's going to be the better investment um versus all this other stuff but if i had to pick I would pick a regimen that includes weightlifting as well as uh, some interval training. I also like steady state. It's a mind thing for me as well. So including that in there gives me that added benefit as well. So I hope this helps you understand those training principles.